Hello, thank you so much for tuning into my YouTube channel. Today's video is going to be a short tutorial and I want to show you guys the best way to visualize hyperspectral data in Python. Let's get started and see how we could do that. As I said in this video, I want to talk about the best way to visualize hyperspectral data in Python. Hyperspectral imaging is a powerful technique that captures and processes information across a wide range of wavelengths in the electromagnetic spectrum. It differs from traditional digital cameras in that it can capture hundreds or even thousands of narrow contiguous spectral bands, whereas digital cameras typically capture images in just three color channels, red, green, and blue. Let's go over an overview of hyperspectral imaging and its benefits compared to a normal digital camera when it comes to object colorimetric visualization. The first benefit is detailed spectral information. Hyperspectral imaging provides detailed spectral information for each pixel in an image. This means it captures not just the color visible to the human eye, but also the entire spectral signature of the scene being imaged. As a result, hyperspectral imaging can reveal subtle color variation and nuances that are not detectable by traditional digital cameras. The second benefit is enhanced color discrimination. With hyperspectral imaging, it's possible to distinguish between objects or materials that may appear similar in color but have distinct spectral signatures. This capability is particularly useful in applications such as art restoration, food quality assessment, and manufacturing where precise color discrimination is essential for quality control and analysis. Third is accurate color measurement. Hyperspectral imaging enables accurate measurement and characterization of colors based on their spectral properties. This level of precision is very valuable in industries such as textiles, cosmetics, and automotive where color consistency and accuracy are critical for product quality and branding. Identification of hidden features, quantitative color analysis, and applications in various industries are other benefits of hyperspectral imaging systems. Overall, hyperspectral imaging offers significant advantages over traditional digital cameras in object colorimetric visualization by providing the mentioned benefits finding its way into diverse industries where precise color assessment is very crucial. So how can we visualize this set of very useful information in the best way possible? Here I'm going to show you how to do that in Python. There are a few stages that you have to take. First, you have to note that the standard colorimetric data, such as the standard illuminant and the observer, is available from 400 to 700 nanometer at 5 nanometer intervals. However, hyperspectral cameras sometimes don't have the same wavelengths. To be able to use the standard colorimetric data, we have to interpolate those data for the wavelengths that our camera has. I will show you how to do that in the coding section. Here are the stages that you have to go through to visualize the hyperspectral data colorimetrically. First, you have to reshape the hyperspectral data into a matrix shown as here. And then you have to change this matrix to a CIEXYZ tristimulus values matrix. You can do it by multiplying the matrix that contains the hyperspectral data by the data of the standard illuminant and the standard observer. And multiply that by a normalizing factor as shown here. And it's defined here. So the standard observer data is actually called color matching functions. And we're going to use the 1931 standard observer. So all you have to do to obtain the normalizing factor is to multiply the y of the color matching function by the data of the standard illuminant. And then you put that into this formula. After you obtain the CIEX Y-Detrial Stimulus values, you just simply turn it into sRGB image. So this is the best way to turn this big hyperspectral data into a colorimetric data, which is the best way to visualize this data. Let's go to Python and see how we could do that. So here is the code for this video. This is where my hyperspectral data is located. As you can see, the hyperspectral data is in NV format. First, I need to specify the header file and then the data. And then I use the spectral library to read in the hyperspectral image. And then I'm going to access that hyperspectral image as a NumPy array here. And then here, I'm going to be visualizing that hyperspectral image in the simplest way using the long, middle, and short wavelengths. This is the easiest way, which is like combining a red, green, and blue channel to visualize the hyperspectral image.
and then I'm gonna be plotting it and show it but here it's where the colorimetric visualization starts which is the best way as I said we need to interpolate the standard data of standard illuminant and the standard observer to coincide with the wavelengths that the hyperspectral image has so I need to get the wavelengths that our hyperspectral image has and these are the standard wavelengths which is from 400 to 700 nanometer at 5 nanometer interval and then here I'm going to be accessing the D65 standard illuminant data from the file called accessories which is here this file is saved in the same folder as rest of the coding and this is the D65 standard illuminant data and then I also have the color matching function of the standard observer let's go back here so this is why the standard illuminant data and x is the standard wavelength as shown here and I'm going to use the function interbond d and I'm going to interpolate the standard illuminant data for my wavelengths as shown here x new the wavelengths of my hyperspectral image and then I have to do the same thing for the color matching functions the same thing we just have to do it for 3x and y and z color matching functions x y and z and then combine them to have my final values of color matching functions and then here I'm choosing the reflectance values that fall into the visible part of the spectrum and I'm gonna reshape it into a matrix array and then here I have to apply the formula that converts the reflectance into CIE XYZ tristimulus values as shown here I first multiply the color matching functions by the standard illuminant and then I multiply the result of that by the reflectance values of the hyperspectral data so I first multiply the color matching functions by the standard illuminant and then I multiply that by the reflectance values of my hyperspectral image and then I multiply that by the normalizing factor so here I'm converting the CIEXYZ into sRGB for that I need the library color and then here I'm gonna be applying contrast stretching for that I need this library ski image and then I'm gonna be showing the image let's run this and see what happens okay the run is complete this is the simple combination of the short middle and long wavelength and this is the colorimetric visualization of the hyperspectral data which is much better than this one and this is the correct way of visualization you could have access to this code by clicking the link on the description section of my video and that's about it Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you liked it and you were able to get something out of it. If you liked it, I would appreciate it if you could subscribe to my channel and also share the video with your friends. Thank you so much and have a nice day.